You know, God also said to Moses, he gave him very specific instructions about the tabernacle. And he said, when, you know, when he was up on the mountain, when Moses was up on the mountain with God, he said, you need to build the tabernacle exactly like I tell you, exactly according to this plan. Now, the plan that God gave, there was one door to get into the tabernacle. Now, let me ask you something. Have we seen the one door before? Yeah, right up there. We've seen one door before because we saw that there was only one door on the ark. All right, so God said, build it exactly like I say. We've got one door. There's supposed to be a brass altar. There's supposed to be a laver. And here, this is going to be the tent of meeting. This is going to be the holy place. In the holy place, there's a seven-branch menorah. There's the altar of incense and a table of showbread where they keep 12 loaves of unleavened bread on there. Then there's going to be a veil, and that veil is blue and purple and scarlet. It's a real thick veil, and behind that veil is the Holy of Holies. In the Holy of Holies, that's where the Ark of the Covenant is, and that's where the glory of God was going to dwell with them. So God was going to come down from heaven. God was going to come down from heaven, and he was going to come down to earth, and he was going to dwell among the people. He was going to tabernacle among the people. And they indeed saw his glory. Now, God assigned a high priest, and he was of the lineage of Aaron. He was from the tribe of Levi. Let's see, Reuben, Simeon, Levi. Reuben, Simeon, Levi. Yeah, he was from the tribe of Levi. And um, Moses and Aaron both were from the tribe of Levi. And this high priest, who was Aaron, he was the very first high priest, he would make intercession for the people. And he would wear a breastplate and, you know, he would pray for them daily. He would intercede for them. And one time a year on the Day of Atonement, he would go into the Holy of Holies to make that sacrifice. He'd make a sacrifice for himself and he'd make a sacrifice for the people, for their sins. So that was a specific thing that God did.